I discovered my talent when I was being chased around the house because I was being naughty for my mum. So I realised I had speed and I could get away. <laughs> right. But more importantly, I, you know, my talent was um, identified by my primary school teacher. Uh, when I was a young kid, he noticed I had an ability to run and he encouraged me to go and train. Um, I was about, I don't know, eight, nine, ten, around that age. And, you know, although a lot of people would tell me I had a, an ability, I didn't really believe it. I just took it for granted that I could run fast and, mm. you know, I didn't think twice about it. So it's only when I got older and a lot more mature that I realised I had an ability. But yeah, I'm into my 30s now. It's only, I'm 30 years old, I realised what I've actually got. But as a youngster, you know, I just took it for granted that I was fast and, and I just enjoyed my life. And did you think that you could make a career out of running? Not at that... That wasn't an option? It wasn't an option then. I didn't even consider it. Mm. As far as I was concerned, as a youngster, running was for, for silly people, people that couldn't be bothered to educate themselves. Mm. That's how I thought at mm. the time. So I was con contemplating giving up athletics because I wanted to concentrate on my education. I didn't really do well at school. I just messed around. Um, I went to college and messed around, so I didn't realised, well, I was enjoying athletics more. And, you know, I was at a stage where I was getting paid to compete mm. and I was getting a contract from various sponsors. So I just made the decision to, to commit to athletics and then my career took off from there. What about your family background? Do they sort of support you in those decisions? They were supportive in terms of what I wanted to do. In terms mm. of the decision that had to be made, it was, fell down on me. You know, it's what made me happy, it's what kept me out of trouble. Uh, my parents didn't have to worry much about me because I was obviously competing for my country, so they knew I was in safe hands. Mm. So, you know, a lot of decisions were based on me, um, me to thinking this was right for me. And it was difficult as a teenager to be making such decisions. You know, I didn't really have much support from anybody else other than that. I got, yes, I got support from my friends and supporters from the general public. But other than that, I just went and just did what a normal teenage kid would do. Um, it's just that I was an, ex an exception in the sense that I was travelling the world and competing against guys that were yeah. far superior than me. But I was able to do it. So, um, you know, in terms of support, I just motivated myself. 